Hello friends. Hi, Vinayak Rangan here. I'm a pediatric surgeon and I'm the founder of Search Test. So today I am super excited to have with me uh, Dr. Sunidhi. Uh, Sunidhi is rank one in the recent INISS renal transplant surgery, MCT renal transplant surgery. It's a new course, but it's absolutely amazing course. And uh, the best part is that Sunidhi did her MS from the same college as mine. So that's uh, that's like a added, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, icing on the cake. So, Sunidhi, how does it feel to be rank one? Uh, so, it feels amazing. Of course, I did not think that I would get the rank one, but I did. Uh, yes, sir, like, uh, of course, I still there's ways to go, but I feel excited about it. Yeah. So, Sunidhi, I know about you, but uh, tell the users, uh, uh, tell the search test subscribers a little bit about who you are, where did you do your UG, PG, and everything. All right, sir. Uh, so uh, I'm uh, Dr. Sunil Ashput. I am from Mathura, Uttar Pradesh. I did my UG in BJMC Pune. Then uh, I uh, did my PG MS from uh, MMC uh, Chennai. And uh, then I was working there in MMC uh, uh, in Chennai only for Bond. And uh, after Bond, I joined in Chennai itself while I was preparing for MCH. And uh, now I have uh, gotten uh, PJ Chandigarh. Great, uh, Sunidhi. Sunidhi. So tell, uh, you know, it's not a, it's not a very common specialty. You were a brilliant uh, student, great surgeon. Uh, why renal transplant specifically? So of course, like uh, my broad specialty, like sorry, uh, my interest was urology. But even in urology, I was anyway going to do further specialization, like either uro on go or uh, renal transplant or urogynec but transplant in itself like it's a very interesting subject it is it is a very niche branch but uh, uh, so anyway i would have to do subspecialization so i thought why not uh, go for this this uh, pgi chandigarh department is uh, the, the best department in the country performing renal transplant it is also one of the very few that are doing uh, simultaneous pancreas kidney transplants so i thought i'll uh, apply for this uh, and uh, well, I got it. Yeah. Was there any person uh, specifically who uh, influenced you to, you know, I think you spoke to a couple of uh, people over there as well, right? I think Karthik. Yes, I think Karthik. yes. Dr. Karthik, I did. Uh, yeah. He said, like the subject, you, subject, you should really go for it. So, I, and anyway, I really do like the uh, like uh, transplant is subject. It, it involves uh, good, like, uh, uh, good surgical skill along with the uh, good uh, aptitude of uh, immunosuppression and how do you manage the patient uh, post-operatively. So yes, so of course, <laughs> renal transplant, it, it, it like uh, a lot of people have that uh, apprehension that it's too niche. They want to do urology first and then do this. Uh, I think there is a reason that there is a separate branch for this now. So I, I thought I'd uh, pursue this instead. I think uh, one of the evolutions, um, the evolution of renal transplant as a separate specialty has uh, also, you know, uh, we are we are embracing the Western concept of surgery where surgeons are not just mere mechanical operators, where we are also closely involved with the medical management of the surgical conditions. Renal transplant, it is a surgical process, but it involves immunosuppression. It involves a key understanding of the renal physiology. And, you know, specific courses like these, I feel, I mean, it's my personal opinion is that it helps create a new breed of surgeon scientists, surgeons who can actually think from a physiological perspective as well. What is your opinion on that? Yes, that's, uh, that's so true because it's, uh, it's an evolving uh, uh, subject, the, the immunosuppression there, uh, even though it has been, it, it has already started for the past few decades, it still needs a lot of work in it. So, of course, we do need people who can uh, uh, put in more effort in the research and uh, make, uh, make make it better for the patients. Uh, even in PGI, they're currently doing uh, steroid, uh, they're doing research on steroid-free immunosuppression. So it's still like, uh, of course, uh, it still uh, can be improved a lot. And uh, yeah, uh, as you said, uh, like a uh, very good uh, uh, understanding of renal physiology is needed uh, in this, so we, yes, of course, we do. We do need uh, uh, more uh, people to be interested in uh, this and uh, do do more research.
Absolutely, absolutely. In fact, uh, you are you are from one of the finest departments of surgery in the country, Madras Medical College. Yes, sir. I uh, genuinely feel that uh, you know uh, surgeons from that department go on to do great things in life. I am yes. forever grateful to my alma mater, Madras Medical, for making me who I am. Of course, I have not achieved that much yet starting out in life, but still, I think uh, uh, you will do really well. So, Sunidhi, what role did Surgitas play? You are an old Surgitas user, a very uh, a firm Surgitas loyalist. And uh, I know you have told a lot of your juniors to use Surgitas as well. So, yes. where, what role do you think Surgitas played in your preparation? So, Surgitas, uh, the... First of all, the MCQs are great. The, all the MCQs, they're very uh, uh, like uh, clinically oriented. And uh, uh, so actually, when I gave my NEET uh, 23 exam, I only had uh, like a month after our MS got over and the exam was in September. So I, I, I thought I'll, uh, I'll just do MCQs. So at that time, I got a search test uh, uh, subscription. And I only did MCQs for the whole month. I uh, finished like around 3000 something MCQs and I did them, uh, like redid them around twice and did the wrong questions again. And just in that one month of uh, preparation with only such as MCQs, I got a rank of around 1000 in neat SS. Of course, it was not enough for me to get a, a rank in urology, but with the one month preparation, it was a decent enough rank. And uh, uh, even now, uh, past uh, one two years, I've been doing search test MCQs. They are they are the best. Uh, also, uh, urology videos by Farooq sir uh, and other general surgery videos by you. They they are very good, concise, and uh, like they explain the concepts really well. So yeah, search test is one of the good platforms, especially the MCQs. Yeah. Great, great. Sunday. So thanks for a lot of this feedback. And uh, uh, the main purpose of this interview was to create awareness, to be honest, on um, renal transplant as a specialty and why I genuinely feel, uh, you know, we have I've had long conversations with Karthik and right now with you as well, uh, why renal transplant is going to be a future, uh, this thing. And for my advice is for people who are planning to go and apply for the ASTS fellowship as well, the American Solid Transplant Fellowship, the two-year fellowship post-USMLE. Uh, this could be a good stepping uh, uh, block where uh, your chances of getting selected for the ASTS fellowship are higher. So uh, um, what we have found is that, uh, you know, that's a comprehensive fellowship where they do liver as well, liver, renal, and pancreas. Uh, for As a stepping stone for that, applying for applicants, this could be a good stepping block. So that's what, that's my personal opinion, and that's some of my that's my personal experience. People who have been in renal transplant are easily selected for uh, ASTS fellowship. So so great uh, uh, great choice, Sunidhi. Congratulations once again, and again very pl glad to see you, Madras Medical College alumni over here. Uh, me taking an interview. So super happy. Um, all the uh, very best in your life, and I really hope that uh, you are able to bring the uh, effects of transplant to a big population and help them quite a bit. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir.